Okay, so I know my hair looks like a mess right now because one, I'm cleaning. Two, I, I've i been, you know, on YouTube all day before I got home. And I've seen a couple videos how girls, you know, expect their boyfriends to do things. Like, they tell them, oh, well, you should buy me flowers. Oh, you should take me out to eat. You should do this. You should do this. You should love me. You need to give me a hug. You need to give me a kiss. Okay, one, ladies, okay, I don't know how to say this. Me and my soon-to-be fiancé, he already asked, but, you know, the ring on it, but it still doesn't mean anything. One, ignore my dog. Two, we have a rough relationship because we both have problems. He has ADHD and ADD, and I have autism and a whole bunch of other stuff. So our relationship isn't perfect by no stretch of the imagination. But nobody's relationship is perfect. Two, don't expect your guys to do things because you, if you expect it and if you tell them to do it, then, you know, does he really love you? Does he, you know, really want to be with you or is he just doing it because you're telling him to do it? He should do it out of love because, you know, he wants to, not because you tell him to. And... Sorry, somebody's talking outside my house. And another thing. Like. If you're in a relationship. And, you know, like a girl. If you're like, oh, I love you, but you've only been dating two weeks. And you're in it because, I don't know. He's one of the popular guys at school or, you know, he's cute and that's the only reason. Do not love somebody just for their looks or because, you know, they're popular. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this camera. I'm going to sit down. And don't like them just because they're popular or whatever. You should love somebody because you see what's on in the inside, not what's on the outside. Like with me and Trevor. Do I think he's gorgeous or handsome or whatever? Yeah, I do. Does he think I'm gorgeous? Yeah, he does. Like, he says I'm the most gorgeous woman on the planet. Do I see it? No. Does he see himself as handsome? No, because we've both been in really bad, sucky relationships. Because on his, none of his exes knew how to treat him. And none of my exes knew how to treat me right. And, like, he has been engaged multiple times. But the girls were either in it for the money for the car or for the house or for his body and with the guys they used me because they knew I had money and they knew I was a good person and I had a sweetheart um if me and Trevor talked the first time um we seen each other like we were already saying oh I love you this is this, and this but we knew We've been together almost seven months. It'll be seven months Thursday. And we already have our wedding planned out. Just because I doesn't ha don't have the ring does not mean I'm not engaged. And it's just my ring costs a lot of money. And that is one thing we don't have right now. Because we just moved. But... You know, if you know, like if you feel it in your heart, in your soul, and the other person just touches you in a way, like, you know, not physically touching you, but they touch your heart and soul in only a way you can understand, and you both know you love each other. Like me and him, I was scared to say I love you first, because I know how guys are like, oh, well, she's really clingy, or, oh, she's already all too much. So I waited for him to say it first. So he told me he loved me, and I'm like, you know what? Honestly, TBH, I love you too, because, you know, we are so much alike. And what some people don't know is autism and ADHD actually have some similarities. And we have, you know... 
we have some similarities. Like, we both know how to work on cars. We both like country stuff. Like, I'm from the country. He's from California. But once he moved here to Indiana, he got the country lifestyle. Once he went to Boonville with his grandfather. Then he moved back to California and then moved again to here. I'm not saying where we live because that'd be crazy. But, you know, he is something else. I'm from Illinois. And the town is maybe populated by maybe 700 people. Maybe. It's a small freaking town. Um, but. <coughs> sorry. To you young girls out there. Or even some older girls who don't know. Weren't taught about good relationships. A relationship. Goes both ways. If you're expecting the guy. To be this 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 and this then you need to be the same way because the guy isn't there to give you money and spoil you and all that kind of stuff you need to spoil him too you need to take care of him too like he's not supposed to just take care of you while you're sick you need to take care of him while he's sick you know it swings both ways so like say for example If your family or something, or you want to go hang out with your friends, you can't just, you know, expect him to sit at home and do nothing and, you know, throw a fit if he goes out with his friends. No. One, I believe once you're together, you know, you hang out with each other's friends. You hang out together. So, you know, that he is not fooling around you know and he knows that you're not fooling around because some guys have issues like that nowadays because girls have cheated a lot and there's a lot of fuck boys i mean a lot of fuck boys and there's a lot of hoes too and there's only a few people in the world that are you know all about a relationship for the love and the kindness and just have somebody's company you know, like, me and Trevor, he can be sitting on the couch playing video games, and I can be sitting on this couch just playing on my phone or whatever, and we're still spending time together. Just because, you know, you're you're in the same room and you're not talking does not mean you're not spending time together, because you seriously are. And, like, it's crazy because some of these eighth graders and stuff even some high school kids they will seriously be texting each other sitting next to each other like if you're in front of family or something and you're having like a private conversation that you know you don't feel comfortable with telling the whole world fine text each other because with personal and private keep it private but if you're Right next to each other. So say if I'm here, my friend's here, and we're in the room alone. No. Honey. Honey, look. You need to talk. Face to face. Don't do the texting crap because it's just no. No, no, no. I am only 21 years old. And... I know how, you know, you need to treat people. It's called common courtesy, southern hospitality. And a lot of people need to have this because a lot of people don't. People are rude. They don't know how to treat one another. And that's how a lot of people get their hearts broken. So, if you guys really want to have a good relationship, Please take some of the things I just said into heart and into consideration so you're not ruining your lives and breaking other people's hearts.
by just fooling around for the money, for sex, or just to be popular because it is not funny and nobody likes it. But I will see you guys later. Bye.